Ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Welcome back to another Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today, I've got a really good match for you. This is actually against a fellow YouTuber. Shout out to Just Weavile. His link will be in the description. He creates some really good Wi-Fi battle content, and this is definitely going to make for a really good match. So from looking at the team preview, it's looking like snow is in the forecast today, and that is unfortunate. He does have the Obama snow. You pair that with the bear tick and the Avalug, and there is definitely some pretty big threats. So this is actually an RU match, meaning we're playing in a lower tier. And I'll tell you what, snow with slush rush abilities is like the scariest thing to go up against. However, what may be scarier than that would be surfing the internet without a VPN. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Everybody knows that using a VPN is the safest way to browse the internet, but I use Surfshark daily and there's a bunch of other benefits that I get from it. I'm talking about traveling across the world in like a second. Not literally, but you ever wish you had different stuff on Netflix? One click, boom, you're in whatever country you want watching exclusive Netflix. I always thought that using a VPN was like difficult and you had to be hacker man to be able to use, but Surfshark makes it extremely easy to use. All you gotta do is toggle this bad boy on and you're now across the world and your data is being encrypted for an extra layer of protection. You ever be online shopping for something like flights or hotels and you notice the prices are looking kind of weird? That is because websites are showing you prices based off of like your location, the device you're searching on, how long you've been searching for. All you gotta do is pop on the Surfshark, they know nothing. You're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, but then I gotta pay like a million dollars for this subscription for this VPN. Wrong. With my code Hayden, you're able to get an 83% discount plus an extra three months for free. It literally comes out to less than $3 a month, which is insane. If you've never experienced the wonders of a VPN, now is definitely the best time to try it with my discount code. Check out the link in the description if you are interested. And if you're not happy with the service, you actually get a 30 day money back guarantee. So definitely give it a try. And let's get into today's battle. So I've got myself a new weapon to play with. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we like to call Choice Specs Toxtricity. Now this boy got himself a nice little buff with the addition of Terra Types this generation. This thing can now Terra Normal get the same type attack bonus on boom burst pair that with choice specs and its punk rock ability pretty much nothing is living that however they're gonna end up leading off with the obama snow so i figure i should probably just go right for the sludge bomb nothing on their team really wants to take that and with that specs and stab it's still gonna hurt pretty bad so they decide to switch into the thickest thighs in the damn game aka the gudra and i actually am able to get a nice little bit of chip plus the poison so get a nice little lucky poison there this is super bulky dragon that uh, a lot of the time you'll see these things being assault vest it actually looks like this thing has the potential to be as this you know the stab sludge bomb didn't do as much as i had hoped but i'm gonna go ahead and save jimmy hendrix for later that thing's looking like it's gonna be able to do some pretty big damage if uh, i can work around their kind of snow shenanigans so i decided to switch into muck now muck comes in avoids the draco meteor i don't know how you miss this thing absolute massive target <laughs> muck is so big in this game uh, it's insane but the miss is wildly unfortunate there um, but I'm able to come in for free, which is super nice, and I'm definitely, you know, it's very specially defensive with that max HP. So I decided to go for the poison jab. Uh, Muck has the ability poison touch. Basically, half the things you touch end up getting poisoned. Uh, you combine that with the poison chance just straight up from poison jab. So I go for that. He ends up switching into the coffee table, and I'm actually going to get another poison. So the luck is certainly on my side here for the poisons, um, but uh, I, I can't really do too much to the Avalug. I also don't really know what this thing wants to do. Muck is really not threatened by the coffee table, so I just decide to stay in and go for the curse, as they're actually going to end up switching that thing out. Comes in, takes a poison, and dips out, and they go into the Espeon here. Now, this is a little bit of an interesting matchup here. So, ordinarily, if this Espeon is not carrying the Choice Specs item, I know that I can live at least one Psychic from it. And then I can get a nice little two-hit KO with the, uh, the Shadow Sneak. So I decide I'm going to roll the dice, see if this thing is Choice Specs. I'm just going to go right for the Shadow Sneak here to pretty much guarantee that I can get, like, 70% of damage on this thing plus I have the crocodile in the back so I have a dark type so I don't think they're gonna want to really go for that psychic um, so I'm hoping for an over prediction here I actually end up getting the poison touch we're just spreading the poison around today three half of the team is now poisoned goes for the psychic and it turns out to be choice specs so that is wildly unfortunate I definitely should have just switched directly into crocodile there I was worried about them making that play I felt like the crocodile was sticking out like a sore thumb ready to ready to soak up a psychic however the game must go on. So Muck was at least able to poison some stuff and kind of, you know, stir the pot a little bit, as my guy does. So my friend Crocodile here is able to outspeed with that Choice Scarf, and I'm thinking they're probably going to want to conserve that Espeon. Uh, I don't have any hazards up, but I'm thinking the one thing that's going to want to come in is that big, flat, icy boy. So I go for the close combat, actually expecting that. Uh, regardless, the Espeon does die if it stays in anyway, uh, but they do switch directly back into Beardo, who takes a close combat, and that 
was a critical hit, so that did literally no damage to this thing, um, and I I cannot stay in here. Uh, Crocodile is kind of my best option to be able to outspeed a lot of the things, um, but I'm very much still worried about him getting the real benefits of the snow, which is going to be the Slush Rush Bear Tick. Um, the reason why that didn't do very much was because the thing does get the 50% defense boost when it's snowing uh, as an ice type. So that literally does nothing. And now I decide to switch into something that is very, you know, used to doing nothing, <laughs> aka the Spide Op. So I come in on an avalanche, and my plan here is I need to either try to set up hazards or catch that Espeon coming in. So I'm going to end up going for the Circle Throw. I actually expect him to switch into Espeon, expecting me to go for the Sticky Web. Uh, if I was able to get the sticky web up, this would have completely changed the game. Instead, I go for the circle throw expecting Espeon, and he actually just stays in and rapid spins for pretty much no reason. There was no... I guess, actually, if I was faster, I would have gotten my sticky web up, and then he would have just spun him away immediately. Uh, then he would be faster with that speed boost. Regardless, in comes Young Thicky, and, you know, Weevil is mesmerized, and also slower, so I'm not able to really do anything here. I can basically try to hope for a Draco Meteor miss. I can try to go for the Sucker Punch, it's not going to do enough to kill it, plus this thing is chipped down to the point where I can take it out easily later, so uh, I opt to just go for the sticky web here just to try to get those up. Unfortunately, I just get squished by that Draco Meteor having ass, uh, and that's that's fine. I wasn't able to get up any hazards or the sticky web, which was actually super important. I was going to try to prioritize getting that up in this match, but that Espeon living rent-free in my head kind of ruined it for me. So now I get a free switch into whatever I want, and I decide... If there has ever been a time for the Dunsparce to try to make some stuff happen, it's coming in on a minus two special attack Gudra. So, my plan is to start setting up as much coils as possible, and just basically boost this fella up, be impossible to kill, and try to chip away some stuff while I'm at it. So, they decide to switch out the Gudra, knowing that that thing's not going to be able to do, you know, too much damage to me. He goes back into the Obama Snow. So, unfortunately, the Snow is going to be back up, likely carrying Icy Rock that's going to be sticking around for a while. But I do at least get myself a coil, so... I grab myself a nice little attack, defense, and accuracy boost, and the Dunsparce is looking segmented and ready to do some shit. So I'm going to end up going for the glare here. I basically need the help of uh, some potential, you know, para hacks to, to at least you know, support the guy a little bit. Dunsparce needs help, okay? So I glare at him. Luckily, with that accuracy boost, I don't miss, and he unfortunately does not get fully paralyzed and goes for uh, the Aurora Veil. So boosting the, both of their sides of defense is not good for Dunsparce, who... You know, can't really hit that hard anyway, so I figure, okay, if that's the game we're going to play, we're going to coil some more, and I'm going to get myself to plus two attack, and then maybe the full power of the Sparse can be felt. So, they're actually going to end up switching into Beardo. Comes in as I coil. That actually works out pretty nicely for me, because this thing is going to end up dying to the poison. And now I'm sitting at a plus two defense and plus two attack and a max HP. I'm looking pretty thick over here, if I don't say so myself. So, uh, the Avalug comes in, basically just dies to the poison, which is fine. That's pretty much what they wanted to do. Uh, to allow a free switch into whatever they would like. Now, it turns out I really should have killed this Espeon when I had the chance, bro. I swear to God. This thing comes in. Of course, there's no Stealth Rock. It's able to basically either hit me really hard with a Psychic or some other shenanigans. Now, as you're going to see, this thing has other shenanigans up its sleeve. It ends up going for the Trick, which is going to give me its specs that it used to kill my Muck with. And while Dunsparce does look pretty damn fashionable in the glasses, unfortunately... Now I'm just locked into using Headbutt all day, and so I puff myself up, looking nice and wide. It is Flat Fuck Friday, and even though it's not Friday, it, it's able to at least kill the Espeon, so that's, you know, something. And now we get to deal with the Bear Tick. So Bear Tick comes in, this thing now has the benefit of a 50% defense boost because of the snow, and it has basically a Reflect Up, so what I have to do here is try to maximize Dunsparce's damage. Uh, there's essentially nothing on my team that can handle this, and if there's any time to use my Terra, you know, it's probably now. So I end up going for the Terra normal, just to try to boost my headbutt, you know, as much as possible. My plan is to do at least half to this thing, be able to take an attack from it because I'm at plus two defense, and have a time. Unfortunately, this is a Swords Dance Bear Tick, and it's basically just going to go ahead and dance up there, get nice and sharp. That's fine, I'm able to hit it with a headbutt, but it turns out... Aurora Veil and the defense boost from Snow is entirely too much for my little Dunsparce. So that is horrible news. This is the scariest sight to see. And my poor little Sparse has never been in a worse position. So they're actually going to end up going for the Terra here. And I'm thinking, okay, at least I know I can take an attack from this thing, try to chip it to the point where I have to let Snow run away to, to basically be able to outspeed it. But it turns out it's actually even Terra fighting. Puts the big old fist on his head, and now gets a plus two close combat onto normal type Dunsparce. 
Uh, and that just straight up kills me. It does not care about the defense boosts um, or anything. So the stab close combat easily is able to take care of Dunsparce. And now I found myself in a situation where I kind of knew this was going to happen. Looking at the team preview, uh, my team does not deal with Slush Rush Bear Tick, especially if it manages to have the exact Terra type and coverage for <laughs> the one thing I tried to set up against it. Um, but now it's essentially deciding who wants to die. My only answer is going to be to try to stall out basically two turns of the snow, which he has only two turns left. Um, so what I can do is essentially, you know, go into Toxtricity, let that thing got, die, uh, go into something else, let that die, and then see if I can pull it back with just one Pokemon. But I do have the Crocodile, who is Scarf and able to outspeed stuff. So uh, I go into Jimi Hendrix, this thing without sticky web support. I am not going to be able to outspeed anything, especially a bear tick, you know, slush rushing in the snow. So essentially this thing just goes right for the earthquake. Uh, if I was Focus Sash, that would actually be really good. I could definitely have pulled it around, but, uh, you know, that takes care of it. So a well-played snow team is definitely one of the scariest things to go up against, uh, unless you have a team that specifically has some type of weather control um, or something that can handle it. But now I just go into young Elvis, and essentially my little fella will not be singing any songs today. Not a squawk out of my little fella. So um, he's actually just going to end up staying in. Of course, he's going to use that last turn of snow, but I do have... The Choice Scarf Crocodile with Moxie that can easily turn this game around with just the tiniest bit of luck and help. So, um, I go down there, the close combat, this thing has abysmal defenses at this point. Um, and, as you're going to see, of course, that was the last turn of the snow. So, it turns out Choice Scarf uh, Crocodile is the only answer I have against this, and I've got to make it happen now or it's not happening. So, Crocopone coming in, ready to steal your wife. And we're going to go for the crunch. Now, the reason why I crunch is because I know it's going to kill with minus defenses here. And that gives me my best stab option against the rest of his team. So, down goes the bear tick. And it's actually kind of crazy that I managed to not get entirely swept by this. So, Crocodile is actually going to grab a nice little plus one moxie boost. And with that crunch, I'm actually sitting pretty nice on damage on everything that they have left. So, Obama Snow comes in. Going to set up the snow warning once again. The third blizzard of the damn day. And the only shot we have at winning this is with a Parahax. If I can do at least half through that 50% ice defense boost, and this thing gets fully parried, I can basically finish it off, grab another Moxie boost, and sweep the rest of their team. I go for the crunch, it does half, but he does not get the full para there, and the wood hammer is going to knock out the Crocodile. So that's going to be the end of the match there. I was honestly pretty surprised that I was able to kind of turn around there to give myself a chance with just the Parahax luck at the end. Um, I definitely got lucky in this match early on, so, you know, don't expect the luck to come around full circle. But, still a really good match. Shout out to Jack. Go ahead and check out his channel. His link is in the description. Amazing content creator. This guy truly makes some of the best Wi-Fi content out here. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.